So Caress is a library that I wrote that converts 2IO events to W3C compliant um, touch events in the browser. And basically what that means is if you're not familiar with 2IO, it's a protocol that um, is specifically designed for multi-touch devices in both 2D and 3D mode and it piggybacks off of the open sound control protocol. Um, you can read up more about it on uh, 2AO.org, but basically there's a bunch of devices out there, hardware devices that speak 2AO that and allow um, or will multi-touch enable a device. And so basically what I've written is a library that uh, called Caress that converts these 2IO events to browser touch events so that uh, any browser, because we shouldn't discriminate, uh, any browser can uh, now be multi-touch enabled. It doesn't just have to be a mobile browser. Um, so to start off, I'll show you, uh, here's a really simple example server that comes with Caress. And basically what you do is you just, uh, this is a Node.js server that uh, you require Caress, you create a new Caress server, and then basically what you do is, uh, since Caress is an event emitter, you just listen for 2IO events, and then this basic example um, uses Socket.io to emit the events to the client. Now you could do whatever you want with these 2IO events, um, but I'm passing them to the client, and then I use a client-side library to actually convert them to uh, touch-enabled, or touch, actual W3C touch events. Um, so, to give a little demo, if I uh, spin up this server, um, you'll see it's li listening on port 3333, and uh, the main examples are on 5000, and if I pull up a the basic uh, canvas example with Caress. Um, basically, this is just a massive canvas. If I move my mouse around, it's not doing anything. But there's a um, really nice library or uh, application that another guy wrote called Tong Seng. And basically, what this does is this converts any Mac uh, trackpad into uh, two IO events. So any mouse movement that I make. Um, it gets converted to two IO events, and because I'm listening for them and using Caress, I'm actually then able to redraw them or draw them on the canvas. All my mouse movements. Um, what is also really sweet, sweet is because it's just two IO. There's a few people that have written uh, applications called um, applications for mobile devices. One for Android and one for iOS, and this one's called Two IO Pad. And basically, um, if I just start this. Uh, since it's sending to the right to my machine and to the right port, I can actually draw with my iPad. And what's even better is that I can actually draw using my um, using my trackpad and the iPad at the same time. Um, so now I've got a few other examples that I created. Some with uh, Hammer.js, which, if you're not familiar, is a um, uh, JavaScript gesture library, um, but there's another really cool one that I want to show that's actually uh, was originally a Chrome experiment written by Altered Kalia that actually shows some really cool particle physics um, and just really nice visualization and like I said I can actually use these on the uh, on my iPad as well as on my uh, Mac trackpad so really, really awesome. And I've actually been able to have up to four different devices connected. And since each um, Apple device, including the trackpad, supports up to 10 touch points, even though it might not be realistic to get that many on the screen, um, you're able to actually support quite a few uh, devices and touch points at the same time. I found most of them are actually limited by the actual application. So, um, they'll end up crashing because they can't handle too many uh, touch points, but I've been able to run quite a, th quite a few through Caress, uh, and it's really quite quite quick, especially if you have a really fast computer. My MacBook's not the newest, so it's a little bit slower. Um, another really neat thing that I was able to do was using um, some other guys connect to 2IO, I was able to actually draw with the connect, and hopefully I'll get a video up about that pretty soon. 
But uh, anyway, that's kind of the basics of Caress, and uh, you can find it on GitHub and find all of the source code and examples. It's MIT license, and hopefully that uh, inspires somebody to do something really great with it. So thanks very much, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter or or uh, make a comment on um, the Caress uh, GitHub page.